So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Football with Priscilla. I am Priscilla, obviously. So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And ladies and gentlemen, today I just want us to talk about the Crystal Palace versus Manchester United game, which ended in a nail nail. But before we get into the video for today, make sure you share, like, and subscribe. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe, and do turn your notifications on, ladies and gentlemen, to know when next I post a video. Now guys, I am quick, and I want to make a quick fire video because I am in a place where I am not alone. Okay, there is noise everywhere around me. So where you hear sounds where you hear people snoring ignore okay my nephew is sleeping i'm making a video in my bedroom and there's a lot of stuff happening in this household anyway so ladies and gentlemen the first thing that i want to talk about in with regards to the manchester united versus crystal palace game is i think we did not play badly i think we played well i very much enjoyed the first half which it was just so surprising for me that we failed to score a goal in the first half i think we played well our passes our touches the way we just set up the way we were going forward the way we were fast in retrieving the ball like everything was making sense how we failed to score goals is actually beyond me so for the first half ladies and gentlemen for me i think it was absolutely amazing i just don't know how we failed to score the other thing that i want to talk about ladies and gentlemen is the forward line now i know i've been talking about the forward line and i said goals will come and it's worrisome that our forward line is not scoring goals but goals will come i liked how we are interchanging with garnacho rashford ahmad zerxi like i like the fluidity unfortunately yesterday i didn't think ahmad played well like yes he was trying to run at the defenders but it was not coming off i feel like garnacho also yesterday was out of ideas he wasn't running at defenders as much zerxi i mean i'm trying to see what zerxi is adding apart from just like okay you know, I feel like Zexi can be our Firmino. Remember how Firmino for Liverpool wasn't the one scoring goals, but he was the jail that was holding Mo Salah and Mane together. So I feel like that's what a Zexi brings to Manchester United. So yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, for me, the forward line, I love the fluidity, I love the versatility, and I like how we are interchanging, but we need to score goals. And then another thing that I noticed, which was very interesting for me, is how Manchester United playing with Dalot was an inverted foot... Uh, with Dalot playing as an inverted midfielder, because I kept on seeing Dalot going into the midfield, and I'm like, <laughs> Manchester United want to do the Man City kind of thing. I thought it would not work, but it kind of did work, but like it was very interesting to see. Another thing that I want to talk about, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that Ericsson, this Ericsson, Bruno Fernandes, uh, Kobe Maino midfield is kind of working. Like, I'm sorry, like I did not see that coming. I am one person who loves Ericsson, but who has been saying that Ericsson's legs are gone. But this whole Kobe Mainu, Bruno Fernandez, and Ericsson midfield is working with Ogrete coming in the second half to just add energy. Like it is working. Could Eric Ten Hag be a mad genius? Like, I, I mean, obviously, you can't do Ericsson, Mainu, and Bruno Fernandez versus Man City or Arsenal, but like it is actually working. And I could see that uh, Ericsson really helps us drive forward like his passes his forward thinking i mean has been helping the team but bruno fernandez oh my gosh has been so frustrating for me like i absolutely love bruno fernandez but the way he keeps on losing the ball the way he's sloppy on the ball like just do the simple passes bruno like ericsson doesn't do too much but when he does something it happens like something happens and then there's bruno trying to make the passes trying to score the fans he goes like Am I the only one who's getting frustrated by Bruno Fernandes right now? And I know it's Bruno. We expect that from Bruno. But we need three points. So, you know what, ladies and gentlemen? It's a quick and short video because of the circumstances and the situation that I'm in. But all in all, it wasn't a bad game. I think Manchester United played well. It's just execution. We need to be clinical at goal. Liverpool is being clinical. Arsenal is being clinical. I don't know how the Man Arsenal Man City game has fared. But like, yeah. Liverpool, Chelsea, all these teams are being clinical at goal. Manchester United, you could see the system now. You could see the touches. You could see the structure. You can see the vision that Ericsson Hag has. Right now, we just need execution. So listen, I'm not panicking. I enjoyed the game very well. Unfortunate with the result because we were the better team. I mean, how many games do we ever say we were the better team? Like, we were by far the better team, but we just couldn't score the goals. And we're not clinical at goal, but we were the better team. So yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, those are my thoughts on the Manchester United versus Crystal Palace game. Who was your guys' man of the match? For me, I'm going to give it to... Hmm, who was my man of the match? I think Mazarawi played very well. 
I actually liked how Missouri played well. I actually liked how Erickson played well. For me, Dalot also played well. Delete played well. But if I have to give it to a man of the match, I'm going to give it to Erickson. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just going to give it to Erickson because considering what that man has been through and how he's actually making the Manchester United midfield tick, I'm giving the man of the match to Erickson. So, yeah. So, that's all I had for you guys today. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Ignore the noise, ignore the snoring, ignore the, the every noise everywhere and just pay attention to me. So yeah, so that's all I had for you guys today. Thank you so much guys for watching. Make sure you share, like and subscribe. Make sure you share, like and subscribe and do turn your notifications on ladies and gentlemen to know when next I post a video. Bye.